Now, one of the things that I don't like about my code is that I have a lot of hard-coded uh, names of columns or names of tables in these select statements. Now, what I'm going to show you next is a matter of preference. Not everybody agrees with my view on this, but um, I'm just showing it to you. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't. So, for example, over here, when we are saying a.orderID, we are actually referring to the order ID column, which we already have in this controller, and we're using it. I would like to be able to point to original column name, and that way it will be less vulnerable to mistakes. So I'm going to use a bit of C sharp 6 style here. I'm going to add a dollar sign over here. And then I can say here, curly brackets, and say here, orders.orderid.name. And it means that in this position, okay, it will insert the name of the orders.orderid. Kind of cool. Let's do the same to the other places, to the other query. We're going to say the same over here. Put the dollar sign and put this. Sorry, put this over there. Great. Now the other field that we have are from the order details table. So let's define it over here. Let's say var od equals new models dot order details table, and do the same over here. Instead of say dbo order details, we can say od.entityName. And let's rename od to order details instead. Order details.entityName. Instead of saying order ID over here, we can say order details.order ID. And we can do the same over here. And do the same over here. And also over here. Great. So again, this is a matter of preference, but by doing this, I don't have any hard coded column names in my code. And my select statement should hopefully still work. Yes. And if you look at the profile there, it essentially looks exactly the same. Okay, but now it's not based on any... Ah, actually, no, I've done a mistake over here. Cool. This is probably me forgetting to do orderID.name over here. Remember, we need to emphasize that we need to use the column name. Profile run the report and profiling and when I look at the select statement great it looks great and it's less vulnerable to mistake because I'm using the actual names from the actual columns and I don't have any outcoded names for the columns it's just set in one place in my code let's review the change so we've changed from the left to the right where you can see that we are using the actual object and not just string representation of that. This is a matter of choice. It's not mandatory. It has its advantages and disadvantages. I just wanted you to know that you can do this. Have fun.